Alright, it's uh it's uh Sunday, December fourth. I've been working on getting these old pistons off the rods. These are cast iron pistons. Got bronze bushings in them. There's the old pins. Uh kit come with aluminum pistons. These are an overboard piston which I'm not sure, but I think they're, I think they're three and a half inch. Anyhow, I'll check them here. Yeah, those must be three and three eighths, and these are, three and seven sixteenths, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Anyhow, they are overbore. Uh, I had I've washed these rods, but I didn't take the rods off the old pistons and clean the small end up and clean the clean the bearings out. These are the old bearings. They're in pretty rough shape. So I took them out. These are the old shims from between them and here's a new set of shims from uh uh yeah steiner tractor that's where they were from uh-huh uh but yeah i've been cleaning them up uh the piston pins are centered on the the rods are centered in the piston pins the notches go to the front um, I cleaned the oil galley hole out in these rods. Uh, I still need to make sure the piston rings, this piston ring end gaps are right. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Still not certain. Still not certain whether these are the right rings. They've got odd numbers on them these pistons do fit in the liners but uh yeah i'm not sure those are the right rings just because this is what they say um yeah, and i think that's in millimeters <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna have to I'm going to have to do some checking here. I'm not sure my rings are right. It's um, <clears throat> what they sent. All four sets are the same. So I don't know. I'll check into that. Uh, I haven't done anything new to the block. Uh, it's right where I left it. Got the cam in. Main bearings tight. Uh, I was doing some looking around in my parts. Uh, I did find, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, right there, that gear's cracked, right there in that drive tang, right there at the end of my thumb, there's a crack, but luckily, I have two other governors, this one here, the shaft's in better shape. It's smooth. It needs cleaned up. But there's no cracks. So we're going to use this governor. The weights are in better condition. These weights, these weights are loose on here. So we're going to clean that governor up and see how play in that. So. This shaft's a whole lot smoother because there's a notch in this shaft here and this one here where that bearing moves in and out on it. So we're going to clean that governor up. Uh, yeah, I got to check the piston rings and make sure they're going to fit in the bore. Make sure my ring end gap's right. And, uh, 
that's uh that's all we're gonna do here i think i'm gonna call it a night tonight uh these these rods I mean, you can tell it they're longer on one side here and that goes they go go together in pairs uh, right here it says under rod and piss connecting rods are offset numbers one and three have the long part of the bearing toward the flywheel and numbers two and four have the long part towards the timing gears uh tighten the connecting rod bolts to 40 foot pounds and that's what i've been doing here that's the bolt in there and that clamps the piston pin in and the piston pin is centered in the bore so it doesn't come out of there so, all right, anything else happens, I'll bring you back. All right, well, I was just checking the ring end gap. And uh, it seems, now I pushed that down in there with a piston upside down. And that is the third ring on the first piston. And I've done the first ring and the second ring. And this is the third one. And that is... Oh, where the heck? Yeah, it's right there. Can't see it. Anyhow, that's the third ring. This oil ring, but this is, you can't make it out with it. Hmm. I read it on there. Hmm. Right there. Thirteen thousandths. So the ring gap's like thirteen or fourteen thousandths, and uh, just did a ballpark here. Where do they say it at? Yeah. Some pistons have three rings, some have four. These have four. Recommended end gap of all rings is seven to seventeen thousand. So uh I'm well over seven, but well under seventeen. I'm at about fourteen. So we're in good shape there. I'm gonna take a random. I'm gonna randomly go through a few of them and just make sure there ain't no oddballs and and uh check them before i put the pistons in but uh i just thought i'd better check them and make sure that somebody didn't screw up and put the wrong rings in here but uh they seem to be the right rings these are overboard pistons they're uh three and seven sixteenths the original bore was three and three eighths so gonna have a whole whopping more power out of this thing so anyhow that's what i'm up to tonight i'll probably tack this on with the other video so i'll catch you later all right we're uh working on a little little b motor here i'm putting no rings in the uh on the piston this is the oil ring it goes in the bottom Got this expander, and you just pull it apart like that. Put it around the groove. You thread it back together. That's all you can do with that. And 
I got this. Uh, you can read that. It's a blue point piston ring compressor. Put it in the tool. I'm always afraid I'm going to snap these piston rings. I shouldn't be, but I'm always afraid of snapping them. Just expand it enough to get it over top of the piston. This is always a challenge because that spring's got to be underneath it. And let her go. One down. Next group, next ring in the package. And it tells you right there. Top. So it goes towards the top. Put the ring in there. Expand it out. Just enough. Get it over the piston. Eh. Always a struggle. Come on. Just like that. Uh, and again, I checked most of these. Uh, can you see that? All of them say top on them. There's usually instructions when you get a kit to which way the piston rings go. Expand it just enough to go into the groove. Just like that. By the time I get done, I'll have it down to a science. This is the top ring, and it looks to me like it's chrome plated. So, all the rest of them are black, like they're just iron rings. This one's really hard, heavy, too. Come on. Come on. Like that. And there they are installed. Of course, you'll have to stagger them out around there. The little scuff marks where the ends of the piston rings go. But see, these two center ones are black, and this one here is chrome plated. This one, the oil ring seems to be chrome plated too. So, yeah. All right, that's the uh, that's the piston rings. Like I said, I took a rambling sam ramble random sample of uh the gap and it seems to be right on 13,000 so we're in good shape there uh all right let me uh get the rest of these done and we'll start dropping them in the block